Hey there, thanks for stopping back on by my channel. My name is Evan Edinger and I make British American videos or today, for instance, Reddit related content. I found a really interesting Reddit thread I thought I'd share with you. Let's have a conversation about what's something that's clearly overpriced yet people still buy. This is a really big one. I think it's gonna be super interesting. So let's dive on in. Also, by the way, today's video is sponsored by the Fabulous app. You'll hear more about them at the middle of the video. Number one most overpriced thing that people still continue to buy, printer ink. Well, that's because there's no other option for certain types of printing people. Obviously, if you can just get a laser printer, you save so much more money. And there's been so many videos and exposés about how printer companies have priced things horribly and designed their systems so that you spend more money. I think printer ink is more expensive than gasoline, even barreled raw. It's really crazy. Like for instance, even if you're printing just in black and white, a lot of printers will specifically make sure you use a small amount of blue to make it an even nicer black, they say. But then when you run out of this blue, they don't let you print in black and white anymore until you buy more of the entire pack of the cyan, the red, the green. So it's really horrible. Printer ink is too expensive, but also if you have an inkjet printer, you're kind of screwed. That's what you have to do. Me, as someone who prints photography, I, I need an inkjet. That's kind of the highest quality printer ink that you can get to make sure that it's mwah, spicy. Yeah. I've been printing a lot of my photos recently to put in certain places around the house and I'm very thankful, but oh my God, like every other time I'm printing, I do have to buy more ink. Ugh, there's things that I have like 11 different colors in this printer, so. Yes, way too expensive, yet I continue to buy. Next up, we have diamonds. Diamonds are far too expensive. Uh, even when I was like a very young kid and I learned that cubic zirconia is essentially a diamond, but perfected with no imperfections, I kind of was like, why wouldn't I just buy my wife this type of thing? I am definitely not one of the types of people that's like, oh, just because it has high value means that it is good. The fact that the entirety of the diamond price is because of supply and demand with one company owning all the diamond supply, so making sure that it's always inflated, nobody should be buying real diamonds. Don't buy into the marketing ploy. It's a waste of your money. Honestly, what's more important, getting a rock that is worth a lot of money because people say it's worth a lot of money, or I don't know, taking your future wife on an amazing honeymoon or an amazing trip somewhere, or even just making her a nice cup of tea. I'd rather have a nice cup of tea, personally. Ah, well a deleted comment is talking about food and drink at a sports game. Pretty much, you know what you're signing up for when you go. I include that with like drinks when you go out to a club or drinks when you go out to, yeah, I guess a sports game and such. You know what you're getting into. That's why in US culture, we tailgate and such. We just get drunk on the tailgates of our trucks and then go in so we don't have to pay the extortionate prices. Clothes, I was at a factory in Bangladesh and they were making products for a well-known brand. The factory owner handed me a top and said, take it, it'll be worth loads by the time you get home. Sure enough, when I got home, same design was being sold for 60 to 70 pounds. It cost them about a quid to manufacture. I think everyone at this point is well aware about how fast fashion works and how incredibly cheap it is to manufacture these things by not paying people the right wages in the countries in which they are printing these things. But as much as I'm like, yes, clothes are incredibly overpriced for what they are. I think most people realize that for the most part, you're paying for the design, you know, the, the artistic bit, like the way that the, the clothes fit you and all that other faff. Obviously, if you're just looking at materials, clothes shouldn't cost much at all. We've really gotten that price down in terms of manufacturing, but I guess most of the price is inherently going to be in that initial design, in how they look and in how trendy they are at the moment. Ah, oh, yes, the king of being overpriced, college textbooks. I've talked about this on my channel before, but 300 pounds for a physics textbook because you have to have the exact year that they expect. Otherwise, when you do the homework, your questions are wrong because they change all the questions year over year out. So that way you can't just buy a used textbook. It's a horrible system, very predatory to make sure college kids that already don't have enough money have to spend even more money on things. But that's why every single class I was in, I would always try and sit next to someone and be like, hey, can I like borrow your notes? Can I take a picture of the note, the like, ones I'm supposed to do just to save that bit of money? Cause it is just so expensive. It's really annoying. You can't rely on yourself to just have the book, but it's also annoying that they're 300 pounds for a textbook. Is that a thing in the UK, by the way? Are your books that expensive for college? I'm not aware. When I got my master's degree, I didn't have to pay for any of my books. They just came free. So I don't know if it's like that for every other university in the UK. What's next? For something that's clearly overpriced yet people buy, funerals, give my body to science and take a vacation instead. I mean, I don't think people are buying funerals for themselves, I guess, unless you take out a life insurance package. I don't know. But yeah, funerals are ridiculously expensive. Just burying a body is expensive. A coffin is so expensive. It's kind of ridiculous how much money it costs to die. <laughs> you, you, you spend all this money on your health care in the US and then you gotta spend it when you die. It's a really broken system. Now, I think it is a lot cheaper to go for the, the earn method, but 
just throw me in a river, all right? Actually, put me in a boat, you know, with, with a sword on top. Give me a nice Aragorn funeral. I'll go over the river. That sounds nice. And then remember me through my videos or my photo content. Put a photo of me up. That, that's pretty cool. I, I don't necessarily need a grave. It'd be nice, but not at that price. I guess everyone likes the idea of after they die, having something somewhere where like they mattered. Here's a grave, this person lived. But if you think about it in the long time span of things, there's only so much time until the entire world is graves. Not very forward thinking, but that, yeah. Bottle of water, bottled water. Very overpriced for what it is. The only time I ever get a bottle of water is if I'm really desperate and there's no other option. If I'm at a restaurant, I just get tap. It's free. Why would you do anything else? I'll, why wouldn't you get a drink? Like I said, I don't really drink other drinks. Mostly into water. Big water stand. Hydro homie, that's me. But I love that there's these companies that l even say on the bottle, it is just filtered water. Like they basically just took it from a tap and then ran it through a filter and went, here you go. That'll be two pounds. Thanks, great. <laughs> but it does have its place for me. If I'm out and about and I forgot to bring a water bottle with me, well, I, I need to drink water and gotta do what you gotta do. Flowers on Mother's Day and Valentine's Day. Are they overpriced then? I I've genuinely never bought flowers for anyone. I, I find that a very performative task. I'd rather do it at a time not expected of me, not like, here's Valentine's Day, here's what I'm supposed to do, and rather just, here's something I'd like to do that's nice just because. And flowers, they die. I've given plants to people because they live on forever until they kill them. But the thought was there. Definitely overpriced though. I, if anything, you could grow your own flowers, give them all snip snip, save all that money. Good idea. Right now, cars, especially in my area. Brand new cars are few and far between, and it's not unusual to see used cars with prices of 10 to 12K above what the price was a year and a half ago. It's insane. Really? Cars are incredibly deflationary, but to see used cars be that expensive is wild. I have not owned a car in 10 years. Ever since moving here, I've not really had a use for one. And I've seen prices when going by dealerships and being like, why the hell would anyone spend 40,000 pounds on this car, like it's just it, like, oh, I, I just don't understand. I, I've definitely been a used car guy because I mean, my first car was a 1993 Buick Regal Custom and that was my only car. It did the job. Sure, it had some issues, but it cost me a thousand dollars. I, I honestly, I mean, if, if you're huge into like driving, I mean, I enjoy the comfort of newer cars and such, but they're just too expensive. They're just too expensive. Depends on the features and how much disposable income you have, I guess, at the end of the day. But you know what's something that's not overpriced? Today's video sponsor, The Fabulous App. Let me take you to the other room to tell you about it. Hello there, I come to you from my balcony right now to tell you about today's video sponsor, The Fabulous App. Have you not heard of it? Because I actually talked about it a couple weeks ago and I'm still using it. Are you looking for a way to build better habits? Maybe you're interested in making sure you're a bit more hydrated throughout the day, getting a little bit of exercise, you know, maybe eating better. Also for me, I'm trying to learn piano and make sure I get on my streaks for learning languages and the Fabulous app is really helpful for that. Why get triggered to go on the internet to check social media to see if someone's liked your post instead of having these triggers set up to help you to build habits through science-backed technology. <laughs> Yoga is actually built into my routine. <laughs> Fabulous is 100% personalized to what habits you want to build and your journey. And with Fabulous Premium, you can build an unlimited number of habits into your daily routine. And if you feel like you're ready to start building your ideal daily routine, click my link in the description to get 25% off Fabulous Premium and join Fabulous today and build a better you. Anyway, thank you very much to Fabulous for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to my studio. Graphics cards. The recent state of the GPU market has shown me people don't give a f about parting ways with their money. They are overpriced, but also I guess for the people that are buying them, they have a specific need. So there's a high demand. I guess that makes a lot of sense. Personally, I've never needed to buy a graphics card. I buy a really good MacBook, which you could say, hey, that's overpriced. But for what it does, it enables me to do what I do much more efficiently than otherwise. So you could say computers in general are overpriced, but like I said, it really depends on what you need them for. I could get a cheap laptop for like $400, 400 pounds or so, but I definitely don't think it would be able to do at least a 10th of what my current laptop is able to do in terms of making and editing videos and photos and whatnot. But I think most people that buy graphics cards, correct me if I'm wrong, pretty much into gaming, which for most people, isn't actually making anyone money. It's more for enjoyment. So yeah, that's spending a lot of money on something that doesn't increase the amount of money. So it's not as much an investment in financially as much as an investment in, hey, this looks pretty cool. So hey, people want to pay that much. Okay. Popcorn at the movies. Popcorn in general, who likes popcorn? I, I'll, be, I'll be honest, I'm anti-popcorn. It gets stuck in your teeth, unless it's kettle corn popcorn or like caramel corn popcorn. Oh, absolutely. But yeah, I, I also agree. Very, very overpriced. Does anyone actually buy things at the cinema? 
I, I, I'm not one of those people I've never been. The only time I have is if it's free. If I'm at some premiere and they've invited me and they give me a free wiener, I'm very happy. Very happy about the free dog. But no, I'd rather just buy some snacks at the local Sainsbow's for one pound and bring them in my pockets. The UK doesn't even care if you bring snacks in. Growing up, I remember in the US, you were not allowed to bring outside food or drink in and it was like a big deal. I don't know if it still is a thing. I've been gone for too long, but in the UK, you could bring alcohol in. No one's ever stopped me before. Am I admitting to a crime? Phoenix, are you allowed to drink alcohol at the cinema? Um, yeah. Okay. It's allowed. This is fine. We're very weird with alcohol in the US. Strange, strange country we are. Oh, things that are definitely overpriced that people buy because th they feel like they have no other options. Adobe Creative Cloud, though rather than buying it's a bullshit subscription. Yes, yeah, so you basically buy that for the rest of your life. If you're someone that gets into video editing and you're like, oh, Premiere Pro, that's only 15 pounds a month indefinitely for the rest of your life. And then you're basically stuck with it. Cause you're like, oh, I can edit on PC and Mac and be collaborative. And then it crashes on you every single day. And then things are breaking. And I've seen so many YouTubers over the last month alone, their entire editing teams switching over out of Premiere because Adobe is so horrible with this. They just don't like that. They constantly have to spend so much money for all the different editing suite bits all together every month, only for the product to be so unstable and crash all the time. Now, no one's switching to Final Cut Pro for some reason, this lovely, lovely app I've been using for 10 years, which has never once had an issue on me. It's amazing editing, just YouTube stuff. They're all switching to DaVinci, which is another really good editing app, which is really good for color grading. So either way, don't spend a lot on Creative Cloud, torrent it. Am I not allowed to say that? Okay, uh, borrow it from a friend. If you'd like my personal thing, I actually do pay for Lightroom and Photoshop and they are getting a bit laggy at the moment, but they also, you know, it's the only way I know. I could switch to a non-Adobe one, but I've really learned how to do Lightroom and Photoshop. So they've got me there by the balls and it's nowhere near as bad as Premiere. Anything at Disneyland or their theme parks. Yeah, it is really depressing because as I've been to Disney so many times, Disneyland, Disney World, Disney World Paris, Disney World Tokyo, I've been to a lot of them but they are, the price is getting just so ridiculous. And I know it's like insurance and there's loads of people work there and it's a really fun time, but damn. Wedding anything. Oh yeah, I'm so thankful. As a guy, I can just wear a suit and tie that I've worn before and everything is kind of fine at the end of the day for the wedding. Whereas for women, they are expected to wear a wedding dress that is hand tailored to them, costs thousands of pounds and they only wear it once. And then the bridesmaids have to do, so expensive, so silly as an investment piece and I, it's just not, it's not good, it's too, too overpriced. And yet people constantly doing it. Every single piece of real estate, absolutely. I do not believe any of these prices that we're currently seeing for houses are worth anything. Like the more I think about this space that I have and I'm like, that's how much it's, that it doesn't make sense that that's the price that they're saying. It's all completely inflated and ridiculous. And I'm assuming we'll see a crash soon enough, but people need places to live and they're not building enough houses. So the demand is high, the supply is low. I wonder if they're doing this on purpose. Branded medicine. Branded medicine is a big scam. They came up with it maybe, they lose the patent. It's the same exact thing chemically if you look at the ingredients list, but they're asking you to pay three times the price for what is quite literally paracetamol. Just buy the standard paracetamol. No reason to buy a branded one unless you just like marketing and you wanna eat that up. I guess that is part of it. If you're like, well, Tylenol always helped me. I have to keep with it. K cups. Wow, that would be a very, well, if you have boobs that big. Oh, no, it's about coffee. Okay, K cups, I'm, a, I'm guessing that's Keurig. Slip of the tongue. The difference in price slash 100 grams between them and the regular bag of pre-ground coffee is insane. Yeah, but here's a company that develops a product and then develops a product that goes with their product that you need to have in order to use it. And there you go. You just bought into their ecosystem in which you can give them even more money. I think there's a lot of systems out there. So if you do have this machine, you can just buy a K cup that you put your own grounds into or just learn how to make real coffee. Okay, it tastes a lot better. Just, just take the time. It's worth it. Okay. But yeah, I'm assuming K cup bras are probably overpriced as well. DoorDash, the prices are m so much more expensive in the app. And then once you have the service fee, taxes, tip, yeah, like Deliveroo, DoorDash, all those, I've already made a video about that and they are quite ridiculous and overpriced, especially for what they are. But also it's, it's such a weird service, like, and it's the only way seemingly this can work without these companies having their own delivery drivers. So, Ah, I don't think it'll last forever though, but it's it's convenient, but too expensive. If I just want one burrito, 
I basically can't get it delivered because if you think about it, it just doesn't make sense. It's too expensive. You might as well do it only if you have a big group of people ordering food because then you can divide that like extra service charge by four or five. PS5s and Xbox Series X from scalpers. Yeah, or just not at all in general, the, the price. Personally, I, I love my Sony gaming system. I played the PS4 so many times. I'm, I'm playing like Horizon Forbidden West right now and I absolutely love it. But when I considered buying it for a PS5 and getting a PS5, I was like, there's still no game that's an exclusive that I want. So that price is absolutely ridiculous. If they came out with a game that I was like, oh, I need this. Like if The Last of Us Part Two was only on PS5, I would have bought it. I would have had to. I wanted to experience that game, but still the exclusives just don't interest me yet. I'll wait till the price goes down a bit. Maybe we get a good game out. We'll see. Internet, at least in the US where it's artificially overpriced. Yeah, the internet is ridiculously priced in the US, but then again, it's because of all the corporations working together to make sure it stays inflated. My price right now, I get gigabit internet in this flat and I think it costs me about 25 pounds a month. I got a good deal, but that's crazy. I'm so thankful for that because I upload these videos. I make a mistake. Oh gosh, I gotta quickly re-edit it. I can get it up real fast. Wink. <laughs> Lucky few, watching another video on my channel is not overpriced at all. In fact, it's free, as is the subscribe button. Ho ho ho, amazing chances. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Goodbye.